Uh, I have my phone on a very <laughs> precariously stacked piece of styrofoam, a empty box, and a Tsum Tsum. So, um, if this thing falls over halfway through, it's going to be for a very exciting video. Anyway, I just wanted to have a fun little opening video because I'm sort of excited about this. It's mail call time. However, this is a very fun mail call because I literally found this lot described as who wants to buy this before I take it back to the charity shop or, you know, Salvation Army. So basically it was like, hey guys, so for like $7 you can take this lot of random stuff and I won't have to donate it. And I was like, cool, sold, random stuff. Also because I caught, saw a couple things in there that interested me. So I thought it might be fun to open it up together. <laughs> you and me, all three of you. So here we go. Here's all of it. I hope you can see. I'm going to have to check. Yeah, you can. Okay, good. I pulled out the camera a little more, which is why it's so precarious. So we'd have a wider field because there's a lot of little stuff, as you can see. So by envelope. Here's, ooh, it's like a Ziploc. Here's the first Ziploc of little, little baggy stuff. And a card and a Ziploc of clothes, I think. And then two little, whatever these are. We'll find out. I already saw a picture. But so, let's start with the card. So it doesn't say anything. Look, I already opened it to make sure it was the right thing. Sorry, guys. Not that surprising. It says, enjoy. It's a little strawberry shortcake card. And it's very cute. Inside it says, thanks for giving this misfit lot a new home. How sweet. And then Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And a magnet. Very cute. I'm not really a strawberry shortcake collector, but she is seriously growing on me. Just because it's, you know, so much of that 80s aesthetic. And I was, you know, an 80s baby. So. And it's magnet on the back. So. This is really cute. Either they still make cards like this, or this is like vintage or something. I don't know. It looks sort of too modern, I think, to be vintage, but I love it. And I know nothing about strawberry shortcake, so it's just great all over. So, card. Let's see. Let me put the card here. I don't know. I don't want to put anything near the back because there's so many small things, and they're just going to vanish between my bed and the wall. So let's open little small things. So I don't recognize half the stuff, but I'm excited. Let's find out what it is. I hope you guys can see. Okay, you can mostly see. Here's a, is it a skate? It's a little cart? I don't know. Let's just sort of dump it out and you guys can sort of look at it in the background. Ziploc, free Ziploc, hooray. Here's some doll shoes, but they're all singles, it looks like. Oh my gosh. I think a couple of them might be matches. Let's see. Whee! So definitely no match for the uh, Barbie boot, which ironically, I have one of these, but I think it's like a knockoff because it's really thin. This one's nice and solid. A nice little red ski boot. Something. Who knows? Um, let's see. A little white tennis shoe for Ken. Lucky pirate Ken with his one leg. He'll be happy. Um, oh gosh. Lots of little mules that don't really match. <laughs> oh, these ones might match. There we go. Some little clogs for someone. Little, little, um, what are they? Pilgrim clogs. There you go. Little mules or something. Oh, here's a third. Oh, here's one. Okay, so two pairs of mule clogs, and these ones have holes in them. So way to go, whoever wears mules. Giant foot Barbie. Little tennis shoes. Little Ken has a loafer. Oh, no, it's a pair of Ken loafers. Lucky Ken, he gets some little loafers. And then lots of little chewed up Barbie shoes, my favorite. And um, three shoes that don't quite match, but you might be able to pretend they match if you don't look too closely. <laughs> okay, here's one thing I was excited for. This is actually a My Little Pony accessory. This is a G1. Oh, it rattles. I didn't know they rattled. I actually have never had a, a rattle before. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't because I, otherwise I would have been really not surprised that, by the fact that it actually rattled. So that's really cute. And here's some gigantic doll shoes for our gigantic, oops, dolls. I don't know. Oh, it's two, oh no, it's the same pair. <laughs> I was going to say two left feet. I don't know. It almost looks like American Girl, but I think it's too small. So it's probably some baby doll that I don't understand. Oh, here's our little push scooter, whatever that is. This is the weirdest little, I love it though. It's growing on me. A little, little dude. This might be a color kid. I've heard about them only for, like in passing. They were like a knockoff of Rainbow Bright, sort of, and so they were all color themed. And the fact that he's very like white makes me think that. Either that or he's just a weird sailor. Um, oh, I think this is a Barbie shoe. I think there's only one. <laughs> cool. 
Love those one Barbie shoes. This is also a pony accessory, which is one reason I wanted it. It's a little pull duck. Isn't it cute? It comes with the baby ponies. It would originally have a string on that little hole there. It's a little hard to see. Last time my phone did really well on like auto focusing. There, I think that's better. Anyway, it would have a little string and they'd pull it. So cute. Here's some little strawberry shortcake shoes. I only know that because I've seen a couple strawberry shortcake lots. Um, I think they're supposed to be that color. I don't know. They're cute. I don't have any strawberry shortcake dolls though. But now I have two strawberry shortcake minis. The same mini. And this one's really grody. So cool. I think it's strawberry shortcake herself, but she's like in rain gear. So there you go. And here is an aerial necklace. Oh, baby. She is pissed. <laughs> Don't mess with Ariel, folks. She is, she's angry. You can't see it, so I'm trying to focus you. And it's, come on. Eh, I'm afraid to touch the screen too hard. There we go. There we go. She's mad. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, now I know what I'm wearing to my next graduation or serious formal event. This beautiful, angry Ariel necklace. Sold. What are you? Oh my god, I don't even know what this is, but it's amazing. It's a tiny duck. And it's holding something, but not anymore. And it's a little tiny, I thought it was Scrooge McDuck, but it's a lady. It's a tiny lady duck. Maybe she used to hold a spoon? Anyway, this is awesome. And I love it. And it's really tiny. I don't know if you can see against my hands. I love her. <laughs> Two little clips. Little barrettes. It sort of looks like it would go with um, that new Miraculous Ladybug show. But they're clearly old. So they must not. Unless it was made in the past. Oh, and they open. There you go. Clip them onto a pony hair. Beautiful. Here's a tiny bucket. I'm willing to bet this is Playmobil because it has that sort of handle shape. Fun. I had a lot of Playmobil as a kid, so that'll fit in well. Here's some kind of brush. Pretty sure it's just a dollar store something. Another brush, in case you needed extra brushing. This one actually has pretty nice teeth, so I might, I might keep that guy to use. And a Barbie hanger. I don't know if it's actual Barbie. It sort of looks like it, but who knows? I'm not a Barbie hanger expert. And the ra rainbow of light! No, I'm just kidding. But I thought it was kind of cool. It would make a neat little like costume piece, right, for the rainbow of light. I don't actually know what it originally went to. Probably some kind of, you know, children's play jewelry set because it's a little locket and it's made for, you know, clunky little fingers. But it's cute. <coughs> Still sort of sick. Sorry, guys. But at least my voice is less croaky. So, two baggies down. Two. Well, let's go through this first because I know what this is, but you don't. So it's exciting. Be free. Haha. -ha. It's a color kid. Isn't she cute? I've never had a color kid before. My friend had Rainbow Brights growing up, and so I always really liked hers. Like, she had the stuffed doll and the horse, like Starlight, obviously, the rainbow. Almost a unicorn, but not. But I was very much a, um, oops, you can see the stair from there. Sorry, guys. I need an actual phone stand, I guess. But I never actually had, like, a color kid or any of them. And I was thinking she looked too new in the photos to be, you know, I thought maybe she was, like, a redo one. But, no, she looks pretty legit. She looks kind of old. And she's a little ratty, so I feel like that probably wouldn't have happened since the 90s. But, who knows? So, anyway, she's really cute. I always really liked her outfit, even though her outfit's sort of dying. But, she's super cute. No shoes, I guess, but I honestly think she looks fine without shoes. She has her little leggings. She has her little... Well, that's a little concerning. Her eyes have no white in them. Just the little reflection. So, that's a little... It's a little scary. A little intense. I'm not haunted, I swear. But I think she's cute. Of course, I feel like I say that about everything. Someday there's going to be a video where I go, oh my god, this is actually super ugly, and people are going to be, like, horrified. Wee! I forgot what this is. So it'll be a surprise for both of us. Oh, god. Oh, god. Why? Did, why? Why did I agree? Why did I get this? Hi, ah. hey, everyone. Oh, god. She has one shoe for that completely... This frightening look. She's possibly a little devil. Is there a shoe in here? I don't think so. I think it's just tissue paper. No, no shoe. So she's just cut one shoe. Despite this entire bag of shoes. 
We'll just give her a little, little, there you go. There you go. Perfect. Complete and beautiful little orphan Annie. There you go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, uh, hide her. Somehow the no whites in the eye having Rainbow Bright Doll is less frightening than the Little Orphan Annie. So here's a whole bag of clothes that we could try to block out the Little Orphan Annie with. Whoa, what is this? I don't even know what this is, but it's amazing. It's like a tiny pink house coat made of this like see-through sort of shimmery hot pink material. I love it. This is incredible. Does it button? There's like a little tiny pearl button and a little tiny length of elastic. It's sort of buttons, except the elastic has long since died. This is amazing. I want one of these in my size, but I, it is not. And we're just going to cover up little orphan Annie over there. You stay over there. Oh, look, she has a second dress. So in case you need another little orphan Annie, there you go. It's her ghost. So there's little orphan Annie's ghost because it stands upright. Beautiful. Um, here's a little tracksuit. This is pretty cute. Ta-da! So <laughs> Little Orphan Annie needs to work out, clearly, you know. Take a stroll around Daddy Warbucks' mansion. Here's some teeny, teeny, tiny red shorts. Oh my gosh, that are sort of ripping out, but wow, those are very small. Not Barbie scale. I want to say Monster High, but I think they're vintage, so I don't know. Probably whatever scale Little Orphan Annie is. Along with This is like a tiny Little Orphan Annie wardrobe. It's kind of amazing. I don't know what that goes to, but it's cute. Like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. It's kind of amazing. So maybe you guys will have ideas. I almost feel like this is some kind of tiny Velma dress, because it looks like her little outfit, right? Maybe. Let's see if there's any labels. I mean, I don't... There's really no labels. It's just little tiny... Tiny Velma. Well, Velma, if you've lost your dress, come on over. Let's stay away from Little Orphan Annie. Okay, here's some gold pants. I feel like this might go with this. Because that's like an outfit, right? That's cute. I hope it didn't go to some kind of very racist doll. Because I'm getting the fearful feeling that it was. Like maybe Johnny Quest or something. Oh, Barbie dress. Finally, something I can put my actual dolls in. That's pretty cute. You know, for vintage. It's very 80s, very 90s. I'm pretty sure I had some version of this dress growing up. Not for me, thankfully. Um... But there's no Barbie label, so maybe it's off-brand. Or Cindy or something. Anyway, I like it. Very sparkly. And it's not haunted like Little Orphan Annie, so even better. Oh, this might go to those shorts. So unfortunately, this is sort of looking like a Little Orphan Annie outfit. Because it's very red. Who would dress a poor redhead child in a full red outfit? Little Orphan Annie. Daddy Warbucks, your money can buy you a lot of things, but it cannot buy you taste. And lastly, cute little Rainbow Bright dress. Rainbow Bright. Um, it looks like it was maybe this scale, but Rainbow Bright didn't come. So Rainbow Bright is running around nude somewhere. However, we can steal her clothes. Way to go, Canary Yellow. Hee <laughs> hee Don't mind me. I don't know if I'm off camera or not, but oh well. Just call me the new Rainbow Bright. Ha ha ha. Dee, 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 dee. So that was fun. What a fun box of random stuff and fun little outfits. I feel like this one might go to Briar somehow because Briar had little sets of riders and they were exactly this size. And I had one and she had a little white like jumpsuit type thing. But it was like a leotard somehow. Anyway, thanks for watching us unbox or me unbox <laughs> and haunted little orphan Annie and uh, Rainbow Bright here. Um, this is fun. <laughs> Random boxes are always great. So if you have any ideas on what the stuff might be, feel free to leave it in the comments. Or, I don't know, just think it to yourself if you if that makes you happy. Um, yeah, so this was a good time. Anyway, I'll see you guys later for the next box of whatever shows up in my mailbox. Hooray! Please help me not be haunted! Goodbye!